What's going on YouTube? Street Hype Vintage with sold items number 28. Alright, the first one we got is that vintage uh, welding trucker hat. Mass trucker hat. Turlock, California. Dope ass colorway. Like gold and blue. Kind of like Cal Berkeley bears or so. But yeah, this one's sick right here. Uh, this one, cool little essential. If I came across something like this, I probably wouldn't pick it up because it took like a while to sell it, but finally sold, so good thing. It's that Polo Ralph Lauren soft touch polo shirt. Right there. The color's sick though. I'm loving this color though. This is more like my color. I'm thinking of like painting my whip this color or like a teal blue or something. Maybe teal on chrome, teal on black. I don't know. But that's what I want to do by this summer for sure. This one I just picked up at the garage sale like last week or something. Good ass condition. Nike windbreaker. Only thing is though, it ain't got no hood though. Just like a collar jacket. But still sick, no holes, no stains or anything. Good ass condition. Yeah, I picked this up for five and sold it for I think 25 or 30, can't remember. Then this one took like a while to find because I got all these black shirts, if you see right here. Like two stacks, one, you got one behind it. So two stacks, two stacks, another two stacks, another stack right there, right there. And that tub right there is like mostly hella black tees. So trying to go to the uh, flea market, set up a booth so I can like downsize, downgrade on these black tees. I got so many. But this one's a LRG t-shirt. The logo is on it sick. The color block, uh, color writing. I mean, the block writing's sick. Like that shade style they got in. Like 3D, sick. This one uh, I just picked up for I think a couple bucks. It's that Laurel Birch. She made a sick ass pillow. I had the sick ass pillow she made. I think it was like cats or something. But I sold for some good money because she's a good ass artist and she'd be creating like pillows, purses, and whatever. I don't know if she's up on clothing either, but this one was sick right here. Different designs to it, textures, and all that. These are pretty sick right here. Nothing like vintage heads would sell, but something I would sell because I seen some money like with these. So these are Van uh Vans, Van Fabian board shorts. Pretty cool little sick design to it. I think this is a size 38. Hell yeah. Uh, this one got that vintage Y2K DC skateboard tank top. This one's sick right here. The pinstripes and the fat logo in the front, all original. Got this one sold too. This was like a big size. I think like a triple X or something. 
But this one's sick. Let's hold up and fix it right quick. So this is that pink dolphin uh, basketball jersey. Got the dolphin on the wave right there with the little plus signs, whatever. This one I remember picking up in Vegas uh, last year, I think March or May or so, on my second trip over there of last year. So this is that vintage uh, Woolrich button down shirt, it's like a fishing style. The color on it's sick though, got all these the purple little fishes and all that, and different uh, stuff to it. This is a front and back all over print style shirt. This one's a vintage starter Yankees baseball jersey. This one's sick right here. I like it when it got that starter like on the on the sleeve right there. Makes it more official, vintage looking, authentic. But yeah, this one's a banger starter. Not no um, what's that brand? Uh, I don't want to think right now. But yeah, this one's sick. Got like one little snag somewhere, but. No holes or stains or anything. Good condition. Might be in the back over here somewhere. Oh, yeah, like right there. But that's about it for this jersey. Still got a couple more items. This one was sick, dude. I per uh, purchased it and I was going to keep it for myself. I don't know if I showed it on the video I had. It was going to be a personal piece, but this fits so freaking tight on me. It fits like an XL besides a double X. Cause I like mine having like room, like, like loose somewhat. But this one's, yeah, it's like a slim fit XL. But it's that TNC Surf Design, uh, TNC Surf T-shirt company. Yeah, I like the color on this. It's pretty sick. How it's not one solid color. It looks pretty sick like that. I would have kept this, but I have to lose probably like 30 pounds and have a six pack to rock this shit. But that's all good. All right, I think this is the last one. This one I picked up at the same garage sale where I picked up that Nike windbreaker. I swear this dude had grails. He had all the dirt bike motocross tees. That Nike windbreaker and this one right here. This is that tap out vintage Y2K tap out hoodie, zip up hoodie. Got some pretty sick features, chains and all that. Big ass bold logo right here on that double X, double X. So if you ain't think tap outs on that hype shit, do you think again? Cause I sold a couple tap out items. I got this other shirt still in my closet, but this one sold pretty quick within like a week. So shout out to the buyer on this one. This was a Macari sale, I believe. Uh, yeah, that's about it for this episode. Sold items number 28, I 
think. Um, what's the day? Monday. I might. I'm gonna have to do some thrifting today because I haven't done thrifting in like a couple weeks. I've been just trying to do my listings and refreshing, trying to sell some more items. But I'm in need for another thrift haul video. That's for real. So I'll catch y'all in the next video. Hopefully, be another thrift haul video. And I'll see y'all. Thanks for watching me. Street High Vintage. Check me out on Instagram at Shark City Vintage. But my Depop link's on there. It's active at Street High Vintage. Or just go to Depop Street High Vintage. Macari Street High Vintage. Poshmark is JW82. Or eBay 90 Skater Hip Hop Streetwear and the keywords. And all my listings will pop up. And I'll catch y'all in the next episode.